Hey singers, thanks for watching this video. Several years ago, I shared a video on my second YouTube channel about my beliefs. And today I have just felt strongly that I want to share it again. I promise that I will be posting more music videos soon, but this one I would like to repost, but on this channel. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that it touches your heart and I hope that if you have any questions, you'll email me and I'll post my email in the description below. Hi, my name is Roger Hale. I am a music professor and as a side job, I make YouTube videos to help people learn how to sing better. Over the past couple months, I have had a strong feeling that I would like to share some of the beliefs that I have that help shape me as a person and that I try to live by. I have many friends from across this world that have different beliefs than I do. I respect your beliefs and I really appreciate the goodness that you contribute to this world and making it a better place. I simply want to share mine to help you know a little bit where I'm coming from and why I live the way I do. At the core of my beliefs is the knowledge that I am a son of God, that Heavenly Father is our Father, the Father of our spirits. Before we were born to this earth, we were spirits that lived with Him. He loves us. He cares about us. He wants us to be happy. And He will do anything in His power to help that happen. Before we came, we knew when we, come here, when we came here to this earth that we would forget that place. And that was by divine design. We needed to come here and choose for ourselves good over evil. We don't do that all the time. And we knew that would be the case when we were there with him. He presented a plan, and in that plan, there needed to be a redeemer, a savior, somebody that would come and suffer for us in place of us so that we could return and be cleansed from our wrong choices, from our sins. Jesus Christ agreed to fulfill that role. He came to this earth. He showed us how to live. He taught us the power of faith. He taught us the importance of faith and repentance. Repentance is the one thing that we can do to change. Part of repentance is baptism. We need to have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and in his teachings and in his commandments. If we will do that, then Jesus' role here on this earth will not be in vain. Right before he died, he suffered in the Garden of Gethsemane for all of our sins, for all of our pains, for our sicknesses, for our afflictions, for our emotional illness. Anything in this world that goes wrong, he suffered for that so that we would know we could turn to him and that he could empathize with us. I am so grateful that he did that for me and I know that it was out of pure love. All he asks from us in return is that we keep his commandments and that we repent and be baptized. While he was here on earth, he established a church. And in that church, he called 12 apostles. After he died, each of those apostles was killed. There was a time in this earth where there wasn't apostles, where there wasn't his church established. Thank heaven, literally. In 1820, there was a 14 year old boy. His name is Joseph Smith. He was confused about all of the different religions. He did not know where to turn. There were many conflicting beliefs, different ways to interpret the Bible. He was reading in the Bible in the book of James, where it says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. That verse of scripture was so powerful. 
but he decided to do it. He went into a grove of trees. He knelt down. He prayed vocally. And a marvelous vision appeared to him where he saw God the Father and Jesus Christ. They gave him direction. They told him not to join any church of that day and that through him they would restore, Heavenly Father and Jesus would restore Christ's original church to the earth. I am so grateful to know that that church is on the earth today, that there are modern apostles and prophets who speak with God and who share God's will with us in an ever-changing world so that we can prepare for the Savior's second coming. The name of the church is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I am so grateful to know that my wife, my kids and I will be able to return and live with God again as a family. If any of this that I have shared with you resonates with you, please go to one of our church websites, which is comeuntochrist.org. There you'll be able to find information, videos, and links on how to, how to get missionaries to come and share the message with you in your own home. Thanks so much for listening. Please share with your friends, with your neighbors, if you feel that this would bless their lives. Thank you.